Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today it's a bit of a quirky artwork. I actually had the idea to do a watercolour painting of a sunflower except it's not your typical sunflower. I don't know how I ended up with this idea but I just wanted to draw a sunflower but instead of the inner like black brown part it was a black cat. Just a black cat's head on a sunflower and then like the cat has like yellow eyes and yellow petals and leaves and uh, yeah that's basically the whole idea of this artwork it's just something that popped into my head and I just had to see it be created because honestly how cool would that be <laughs> and I decided on watercolor for this because with watercolor you can end up with like this really cute sort of playful style and I also wanted to play with a little bit of like splashes of paint in the background and just make it all like overall just vibrant and happy and a little bit goofy as well as you can see here. So to begin we are um, just completing this sketch here and I just sprayed a little bit of water onto the paper here just so that I can get a nice little um, like interesting blend for the background and I decided on a blue that would work for a sky but I'm not going too like particular with the details or anything like that. I want it more a little bit more of a stylistic background where the main focus is the thing that is painted is painted anyways. So I'm just covering up the main uh, focus with a bit of paper as my makeshift masking and I'm just splashing on a little bit of a darker blue here and uh, some parts of it are more pigmented and some parts are like more watery and I ended up and I ended up with a pretty cute sort of speckly background it kind of looks like uh, a sunny day but also maybe there's some water being sprayed in the background or maybe it's like a sun shower or something like that and uh, yeah I think it's pretty cute so as you can see we're diving straight into the painting and of course I'm starting off with the yellow because with watercolor you really want to start from light to dark it's going to help so much and um, yeah I just went in with some yellows and then I laid on some more sort of deeper orangey tones for those petals and now we're going into the cat as you can see and for the style of this cat I decided that I wanted to have it um, almost realistic except still a bit still a bit like illustrative if that makes sense I kind of wanted to do less of a cartoony vibe because I just think that that would look really funny uh, a more of a realistic proportioned cat head on this sunflower how did this sunflower grow was it a science experiment or was it like a freak mutation from a sunflower or a freak mutation from a cat who knows but anyway, as you can see here with this cat, we've had some interesting layers being added. I started off with a layer of like some yellows and blues because I want this cat to be black, but I still want some color in there because I feel like that is more realistic because the colors are sort of going to be reflecting off the fur a little bit. So we have some like yellowy highlights, but also some blue in those shadows. And later on, I'm actually going to um, add a little bit more blue into those shadows because I feel like the Payne's grey colour kind of covered that up a little bit. But now we're going to go in here once all of this is dry, as you can see, and I'm just refining a lot more of those details, because those first few layers were more of an underpainting, and now we're trying to flesh out a lot of the shadows and highlights and just the overall structure of the cat's face. So I'm doing a lot of little flicky motions and I'm trying to make sure it's nice and textured because we want to allude to that cat's fur, obviously. And honestly, when painting cat's fur, I honestly find that black is one of the most difficult colors of cats to draw just because you'd think you can just color it with one color, but it doesn't work that way. Unless, of course, you're going with a more cartoony style, whereas that can actually work pretty good. So these watercolors that I'm using today are the Sennelier watercolors and they are a very, very good watercolor pan set. I've had them for a few years now, quite a few, and uh, they've never let me down and they've always been really nice and fun to paint with. And I actually don't have a black in this set, but I find mixing Payne's Grey with the really dark brown color, you end up with a nice sort of rich black color that you can actually customize to be more warm or more cool. However you like. 
Now I've mixed up some very, very pigmented black here. As you can see, I'm trying to get the darkest that I can get for those eyes and some areas of the face, like the mouth and stuff like that. And um, now that we've done that, it's not complete yet, but I'm going to leave it to dry and move on to some other areas of the painting here. So we're starting on the leaves and the stem. And honestly, the leaves were kind of the most difficult <laughs> out of all of this. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm not very well practiced at uh, painting leaves in watercolor. And you'd probably think it would be simple, but looking at my reference for the sunflower leaves, it, it was actually a little bit more detailed than I realized. But I just went in and I just added in some layers with a more darky darker bluey kind of green and I left the highlights white because after that I was going to go over and add just a layer of a more um, vibrant yellowy kind of green and just put that all over the leaves to try and get that uh, shadowy color to sort of blend a little bit. While we're leaving that to dry I'm going to go in with these petals here and refine um, them quite a bit because before they were just usually just a, a bit of a mess of yellow and orange and it was very expressive but I really wanted to sort of um, just render those leaves a little bit more so I mixed up a, a very pigmented orangey yellow color and I just used my liner brush to go around all of those petals and I actually had quite a bit of fun like figuring out which petals went where and um, I actually didn't worry too much about each of the petals looking perfect because I wanted this to be a little bit imperfect. I wanted the petals to be a little bit ruffled <laughs> because like in the wind and stuff like that, that kind of thing happens in nature. Not all flowers look perfect, but they are all still beautiful. So anyways, after this, I decided I wanted to go in with this cat here and I just wanted to finish off it with uh, my colored pencils because I feel like it is super fun to finish a watercolor painting with pencils. You can just get some really nice sort of fur texture very easily. And I wanted to bring some of those highlights back as well because I feel like it's just so satisfying going in with a white pencil and just adding little highlights to the, to the eyes and uh, drawing in those whiskers, which I actually used a gray so that I could still see the whiskers on the darker black areas and still see them on the light yellow areas as well. I tried my best to keep the use of white at a minimum because you really don't want to overdo it with the white highlights, especially when you're trying to go slightly more realistic. Um, not everything is black and white apparently, <laughs> but um, yeah, just kept that white on the eyes and just a little bit on the nose because I feel like it would be slightly wet and just very, very small amount. After this, I decided to add a little bit more dimension to those sunflowers and I got a nice sort of reddy orange color and just shaded it subtly around the cat to add a little bit more focus on the cat and also make those um, just the shadows on the inner parts of the petals pop a little bit and honestly I think that this is looking so cool. I ended up doing a little bit of refinement to the leaves as well as the stem a bit with the pencils and honestly I think it, it turned out not too bad but um, honestly my favorite part of this illustration is probably this cat's face because I just really love the way that the face turned out and it is slightly more realistic than I'm used to painting. And it's also just very goofy on that sunflower. <laughs> I don't know why I created this, but I am so glad that I did. So anyways, I think that this was a pretty fun little video. What do you guys think of this artwork? Please let me know in the comments below. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like and subscribe button to get your scribble fix in the future. And hopefully I shall see you in my next video. Bye everyone.